Hey guys, Buffer Gaming back bringing another video today for our favorite weapon series, and today we're going to cover a weapon that I've been using a lot in multiplayer as well as Warzone that I've really started to fall in love with, and that is the FAL converted to the DSA 58 OSW or Operational Specialist Weapon. So I'm going to show you how to build this. There's a couple different options from the blueprints as well as the base fail, and then we'll go ahead and jump into some Warzone gameplay where I got a nice solo dub with this weapon. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we have our final design of my version of the DSA 58 OSW or Operational Specialist Weapon. Now I've covered this in some weapon conversion series as well as blueprint series so I'll link those down below if you want more information but really quick this is how it's built for Warzone. This is my Warzone mod. If we strip this down back out and strip this weapon down to base you'll see we have the smooth dominator blueprint here so if I were to go to my armory quickly here we can look at the different blueprints I have for the FAL. So we first we have the smooth dominator which we will be using for this blueprint now this was available in the barracks as a challenge i'll show you here i have my custom blueprint that i changed that i saved for for dsa 58 osw then we also have the skull shot which was available in store as well which also replicates the dsa 58 osw so for this one we're going to use a smooth dominator the skull shot was available in store i believe in season one or two to purchase from the cod store with cod points but the smooth dominator is available here in the barracks for a challenge so if i jump to my barracks and show you and again i'll link this down below so you guys can look at it but this is part of the engineer blueprint challenge for the missions and challenges so there's nine steps here and your final reward being the smooth dominator so this essentially turns the fal into the more modernized american produced dsa david Slavago arms 58 osw or operational specialist weapons so let's go ahead and back out and we'll jump back to our class that we're using this weapon so i have my dsa 58 now we'll start with just the the base fail here um if i were to quickly let me actually select the smooth dominator so you can see what that looks like at base so really quick we have the dsa war z modded uh flash hider which is a cosmetic change to this weapon on the barrel of the rifle we also have what looks to be for the buttstock the ffs close quarter stock you can see here has a cosmetic change the weapon turning it more into the dsa 58 improved battle weapon with which comes in an 11 or a 13 inch barrel with the para stock so this is exactly what you can see on the dsa uh website but again let's strip this down to actual base you can use this blueprint or you can use a standard failure you're just not going to get the hand guard the modernized picatinny rail hand guard that we see on the dsa 58 but let's go ahead and strip this down and you can see we still have our modernized hand guard there versus what we would have on the base fail which is that old handguard that we see on the original FAL. So that's why we're utilizing either the smooth dominator blueprint or the skull shot blueprint. So the first attachment, I'm going to throw on a tactical suppressor just because I hate the look of the monolithic suppressor on this. So the tactical suppressor sound suppression with the cons being ADS speed and aim walking steadiness. So another option that I'll show you here is just the compensator that I use for mainly in multiplayer versus the suppressor in Warzone to stay off the minimap. So the compensator is going to assist with the recoil control cons being ads speed and aiming stability so we'll go ahead and do the tactical suppressor because this is my build that you'll be seeing in the gameplay for warzone now for the barrel i want that 13 inch operational specialist weapon barrel for the para so this is going to assist with the ads speed and the movement speed the cons being the bullet velocity as well as the recoil control so on the dsa 58 osw it comes in either an 11 inch or a 13 inch barrel so this gives us the 13 inch barrel for the osw as the name indicates so we'll go ahead and select that i'm going to skip on the laser for this build the optic this is really personal preference i've been using really either two for warzone and multiplayer uh i've been using the leopold hammer sight or the integral hybrid here because this gives you just a zoom toggle to swap between the 3.25 as well as the red dot and also the four times flip because this essentially does the same thing you just get a four times zoom optic instead of 3.25 and then you can flip that to the side and get your standard holographic so this will give you a hollow scott scout toggle pro as well as the zoom level the cons for any of these is going to be the ads speed just because you're added additional weight to the weapon so we'll go ahead and select the four times flip site now the stock i'm going to actually just leave blank for this one just because of how we are modding it for warzone but again this is personal preference you can throw something like a factory aluminum on there looks very aesthetically pleasing with this or even the ffs close quarter stock which is going to assist with your ads speed which will give you uh that additional improved battle rifle weapon stock with the side folding stock that we covered here so we'll go ahead and just leave this blank because of how we're building this for warzone i'm going to go ahead and skip on the perk 
Now for the ammunition, I'm gonna run the 30 round magazine. This is gonna give you the additional magazine capacity going from 20 to 30 rounds of the 7.62-551 NATO, the cons being ADS speed and movement speed versus the 24 round. I just like having the extra magazine capacity for this rifle just to put additional shots down range and make sure I have enough ammo, whether it's in solos or even quads or trios to drop my enemies and finish them off. So go ahead and select that. Now for the underbarrel, I'm running the Ranger foregrip. This is gonna assist me with the recoil control and aiming stability of the weapon. The cons being the aim walking movement speed as well as the aim down sight speed. So go ahead and select that. And this is the final design. Now again, for this is the Warzone build for multiplayer. I would probably do something like a compensator. And then you see you have a nice shorter looking rifle here. Very nice looking overall, very aesthetically pleasing. But again, we'll put the tactical suppressor on there for this design. So this is the final design for the DSA or the David Slavago Arms Model 58 OSW or Operational Specialist Weapon. So again, this is built with a smooth Dominator blueprint. You can do the same thing with the skull shot, which I showed you, which if you have that, it was available in store. I'll link all the videos to those blueprints down below, but this is the final design for the weapon. And you can see, I'll jump to the gameplay here. So this is a solo game that I ended up winning with the DSA 58 here. And I know I started using this at the recommendation of you guys, because I did do the SR25 video, the Knight's Armament SR25 build that I've been using with the M4 with those 458 SOCOM rounds the other week. And a lot of you guys in the comments really liked that video, but you also told me to check out the FAL. So I started using the FAL. I leveled it all the way up in multiplayer finally. And I started using it just like I was using the SR25. And I'll link that video down below too if you're interested to compare them. But I started using it mainly as a DMR type rifle. And I have to say, I still prefer the my SR25 build over this at designated marksman rifle ranges, utilizing it like that just because of the recoil on this rifle, the FAL. It's much more difficult to keep shots on target and have quick follow-up shots versus the SR25 build with that M4 and the 458 SOCOM rounds. Even though you have a 10-round magazine capacity with that, I'm able to get shots on target much faster and more accurate than the FAL. But where the FAL does excel is, in my opinion, more CQC to medium-range engagements. And you'll see me use it here in all of those engagements, especially in the final circle I end up taking out. I uh, believe four people in the final circle there in downtown, but I utilize this at multiple ranges throughout the gameplay. We have some good medium ranges as well as close quarters at the very end, and that's where that four times flip sight really comes in handy. But you can down people, I believe it's about four shots, maybe five shots. It actually does down people faster uh, as far as hit count goes than the M4 with the, with the 458 SOCOM rounds, but it's a little bit less accurate at range. So that's where we put that 13 inch OSW barrel on this weapon and utilize it at close to medium range. So as long as you have a fast trigger finger and you can get follow-up shots at those ranges on target, you're gonna down people very quick. This thing hits very hard with those 7.62 by 51 NATO and the 30 round ammo capacity on the rifle allows me to not really be concerned with having to get stuck reloading too much. I have plenty of follow-up shots. If it takes five kills max, typically I believe, to down somebody with full body armor with this rifle you'll be able to get shots on target. You can afford to miss a few if you are in a tight situation. And then again, you have that four times flip sight as well as for the close quarters, just flip that to the side and you have your standard holographic sight with the optics there. So overall, this is a really nice rifle overall. I, again, I did cover this in the weapon conversion series. I believe we went through a couple of foul builds. Then we also did this in the blueprint series and I finally revisited it, really upgraded this thing and did it in multiplayer and finally took it into Warzone, play with it a little bit as a DMR, and this is the particular build that I prefer in Warzone is with this 13 inch OSW barrel and utilizing it at close to medium range. So really you just need a fast trigger finger, keep shots on target, it's gonna be very accurate at those ranges. If you try to put it at longer ranges with this particular build, it's gonna be a little bit less accurate. Again, you can put the long barrel on there with a variable zoom and go for long shots using it like a DMR, but again, I still prefer the SR25 or the M4 or the 458 SOCOM rounds on it for that role versus the FAL or the DSA 58 OSW. So let me know down below what you guys think. I'm going to just leave you guys with the gameplay. Also, be sure to check out some of the videos we covered yesterday with the MILSEM operators. We've gone over quite a few videos with the SKS as well as the 93R Rafika. So go ahead and check those out on the conversion playlist on the channel. And again, I'll leave the FAL builds below for the conversions that we did previously for the DSA 58 in the conversion series as well as the Boopin series. 
and this is just the build that I prefer in Warzone as well as multiplayer. We would just swap out the suppressor for a compensator to help reduce or mitigate the recoil a little bit more. But I actually love this weapon right now. This is my most used weapon, I believe, by far. I'm using this in multiplayer as well as Warzone, and I'm definitely in love with this weapon, especially aesthetically and just the way it looks overall. I think it's beautiful, and it handles really well, too. Puts targets down very quick. So let me know down below what you think. Again, I'll leave the links to the Discord, social media links down below if you want to get a hold of me for any weapon conversions or ideas that you may have. But I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Let me know what you think of this final circle and the final end of the gameplay. Very hectic end into the game. But until next time, this is Buckner Gaming with the DSA-58 Operational Specialist Weapon. Until next time, Buckner Gaming, out. Four targets remaining. Good work.